record in the matter of the state of Georgia versus Antonio Sledge in 22 SC 183572. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Wright. Good afternoon, Judge. Good afternoon, Mr. Sledge. Good afternoon, Yom. And good afternoon, uh, Councils uh, Love and Hilton. Um, okay, uh, Councils, I understand this is supposed to be a negotiated plea, is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. Yes, Judge. All right. Mr. Sledge, can I get you to raise your right hand as much as best you're able? Yes. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the evidence you should give in the matter now in hearing should be the truth, the whole truth, none but the truth, so be God or so firm? Yes, I do. Right, you put your hand down, sir. Mr. Sledge, please state your true, correct, and legal name. Antonio Sledge. And are you to say Antonio Sledge? Also known as Mochum, who is listed in indictment 22 SC 183572. Yes, ma'am. Are you at this time taking or under the influence of any alcohol, drugs, or medication? No, ma'am. Is there any medication that you normally take that you have not been given today? No, ma'am. How old are you and how far have you gone in school? I'm 41, 10th grade. Are you able to read, write, and understand the English language? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that you are charged with the following offenses? Yes, ma'am. Conspiracy to violate the Rocketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act? Yes, ma'am. As well as possession of a firearm by a convicted felon? Yes, ma'am. As listed in count 30 of this indictment? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that you have the right to plead either guilty or not guilty to these charges and that if you plead not guilty or remain silent, you may receive a jury trial? Yes, ma'am. Have you had enough time to speak with your attorney, Mr. Derek Wright, about all of the facts and circumstances known to you regarding the charges in this indictment? Yes, ma'am. Any potential defenses? Yes, ma'am. Do you need more time to discuss this case with your attorney? No, ma'am. Are you satisfied with his services? Yes, ma'am. Do you waive a formal reading of the indictment? Yes, ma'am. Do you waive any and all defects in the indictment, including any with respect to your name? Yes, ma'am. Have you been arrested on these charges? Yes, ma'am. The state is unaware of any outstanding warrants related to these charges. Do you or do you, Mr. Wright, know of any outstanding warrants that are related to these charges? I do not. Mr. Sledge, has your attorney advised you of the minimum and maximum sentence for each charge that you are pleading guilty to? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that this is a negotiated plea of guilty? Yes, ma'am which means that the state will recommend to the court the following sentence. Yes, ma'am. As to count one, 15 years to serve on probation subject to the special conditions contained in the plea agreement that I have in my hand that I will show you in just a moment. And on count 30, although you are pleading guilty Sentencing will be withheld until the completion of the initial trial of this case. After the trial of this case, after the initial trial of this case, provided defendant you have complied with the special conditions outlined in sections B, C, D, F, and I of section three special conditions of sentence of this plea agreement, the state agrees that the defendant shall be allowed to withdraw his guilty plea on count 30 and the state shall agree to no cross count 30. Do you understand that the court does not have to accept that recommendation? And we will read into the record the terms of the plea agreement in a moment. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that the court can sentence you to the maximum on each charge and can run those sentences consecutively or one after the other if the court does not accept that negotiated plea? Yes, ma'am. I'm showing you what has been marked as State's Exhibit 1AS. 
Do you recognize the document uh, in States Exhibit 1AS? Yes, ma'am. And is that your signature on page 7 of 7 of States Exhibit 1AS? Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, at this time, actually, and Mr. Sledge, have you had an opportunity to review each and every provision within States Exhibit 1AX? Yes, ma'am. As reflected on States Exhibit 1AX, the current charges that you face are count one, conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, and count 30, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon previously convicted of a felony involving the use or possession of a firearm, OCGA 1611-133. The negotiated sentence as outlined in States 1AS is count one, 15 years on probation, and count 30, sentencing withheld until the years on probation, and count 30, sentencing withheld until the years on probation, and count 30, sentencing withheld until the years on probation, and count 30, sentencing... We might need to skip forward two seconds. <laughs> The agreement is not captured. I'm going to object to skipping forward. You know, well, I'll, I'll see. Let's see. Your Honor. I'm not saying to skip anything substantially. I'm trying right. to see if they can skip over the part where it's just repeating skipping, itself. Yes. We're sharing through a different screen and we're going to go ahead and pick up on these charges at 640 where we stopped. It has complied with the special conditions outlined in section B as in boy, C as in Charlie, D as in Delta, F as in Frank, I as in Indigo of section three special conditions of sentence of this plea agreement. The state agrees that defendant shall be allowed to withdraw his guilty plea on count 30 and the state shall agree to null cross count 30. The special conditions of the sentence as outlined in section three are that defendants shall abide in full by each and all of the terms of this negotiated agreement. Defendants failure to abide by any term of this agreement shall constitute a violation of the agreement. Defendants shall testify truthfully about all matters relating to this case upon which he is questioned at any trial or judicial proceeding stemming from the facts alleged in this indictment. In accordance with testifying truthfully about all matters relating to this case, defendant acknowledges that each and all of the statements contained within the defendant's factual acknowledgments section of this agreement are true. 
Defendant shall testify truthfully about each statement contained within defendant's factual acknowledgments and any matters related to this case when asked to do so in any proceeding related to the facts alleged in this indictment. Defendant shall possess no guns unless his right to do so is restored. Defendant shall commit no criminal acts. Defendant shall submit to random drug screenings by the Department of Community Supervision and any agency designated by the court in this case. Should the defendant test positive for any Schedule 1, 2, or 3 drug, defendant shall within 30 days of said positive test undergo drug rehabilitation as designated by the court or the Department of Community Supervision and shall successfully complete said rehabilitation program. Defendant relinquishes any Fifth Amendment right related to any statement contained within defendant's factual acknowledgments contained within this plea agreement. Section 4, defendant's factual acknowledgments. Have you initialed each and all of the defendant's factual acknowledgments contained within Section 4 of this document? Yes, yeah, ma'am. And is that initial AS your initial? Yes, ma'am. The factual not acknowledgments are as follows. Number three, while associated with YSL and to support and express loyalty to YSL, defendant and co-defendant Demikion Garlington and Quindaria Zachary appeared in a video with another person, AS, where defendant brandished a weapon used in a drive-by shooting and where on behalf of YSL, defendant threatened to harm a person named Kel, a rival gang member who had begun a relationship with defendant's ex-girlfriend. Number four, on or about April 28, 2015, as reflected in Fulton County Indictment 15SC138994, defendant and fellow YSL associates Demikion Garlington and Quindarius Zachary committed a drive-by shooting using the firearm defendant wielded in the video referenced in Part 3 of this section targeting family members of a rival gang. Number five, defendant and his fellow YSL associates committed the drive-by shooting referenced in sections three and four above on behalf of YSL and to increase the notoriety, reputation, and fear of YSL. Number six, defendant admitted committing and was convicted of aggravated assault and participation in criminal street gang activity, among other charges, for his participation in the drive-by shooting referenced in sections three, four, and five above. Number seven, defendant was told by another YSL associate that immediately after the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr., YSL associates met at the McDonald's on Cleveland Avenue in Atlanta, Georgia, to discuss the murder. Number eight, defendant personally knows that one or more YSL associates committed the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr. on behalf of YSL. Number nine, on Jan January the 10th, 2015, after the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr., defendant and other YSL associates gathered at the home of Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug, who gave defendant and other YSL associates cash money to lay low. Number 16, defendant has personal knowledge that he and other members or associates of YSL have either participated in or directly committed at least one of the following crimes in order to increase the notoriety and reputation of YSL. Murder, armed robbery, aggravated assault, attempted murder, theft, illegal gun possession, and illegal drug possession and sales. Mr. Sledge, have you had an opportunity to go over each one of the defendant's factual acknowledgments and make corrections where necessary? Yes. And do, you, and do you now acknowledge under oath that each of the factual acknowledgments that you have initialed in this section are true and correct and accurate to yes, the best of your ability? Yes, ma'am. Part five of this plea agreement, Your Honor, states that defendants' sentencing acknowledgments are as follows. 
defendant understands fully that if he violates any provision or any special condition of this plea agreement, the district attorney can and will use the contents of this document and agreement during any judicial proceeding. Defendant understands fully that if he violates any provision or any special condition of this plea agreement, his probation for this sentence may be revoked in its entirety, and the district attorney will recommend that defendants serve any remaining portion of this sentence in confinement at the Georgia Department of Corrections or prison. Number three, defendant understands fully that any violation of any provision or of any special condition of this plea agreement shall result in defendant being sentenced on count 30 of this indictment, and the district attorney will recommend that the defendant serve the maximum sentence allowed by law. Number four, defendant understands fully that if prior to the conclusion of the initial trial of this case, defendant fails or refuses to testify to any fact that he acknowledges in this plea agreement, such failure or refusal nullifies any promise made by the district attorney to null prowse count 30 of this indictment. Number five, defendant understands fully that defendant's violation of any provision or of any special condition of this plea agreement prior to the conclusion of the initial trial of this case shall nullify any promise made by the district attorney to null prowse count 30 of this indictment and may result in defendant being, and your honor, there is a typo that is in this document. It's the word should be being and it's spelled B-E-G-I-N. I'm going to ask that defendant just strike through and initial that word B-E-G-I-N to B-E-I-N-G. And Mr. Sledge, is that your initial above the strike through of the word began to change it to being? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And may result in defendant being sentenced to serve as much as 35 years of confinement in the Georgia Department of Corrections or prison. Number six, defendant understands fully that no promises, agreements, or conditions have been made other than those set forth in this document. Mr. Sledge, is this your, are these your initials on each section under defendant's sentencing acknowledgement? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Sledge, do you agree that the following statement is one that you have read, fully understood, and signed your name acknowledging? I, Antonio Sledge, have read and carefully reviewed this agreement. I have reviewed and corrected where necessary for accuracy each statement contained in defendant's factual acknowledgements, and I acknowledge the truth and accuracy of each and every statement listed therein. I fully understand this agreement, and I've had an opportunity to discuss this agreement and each of its provisions with my attorney, Mr. Derek Wright. No promises other than those contained in this document have been made to me in furtherance of this agreement. I freely, knowingly, and voluntarily enter into this agreement without force, threat, or coercion. Is that the statement that you acknowledged in this agreement? Yes, ma'am. And is that the statement to which you signed your name underneath? Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, the state tenders as evidence, State's Exhibit 1AS. No, any objection? State's 1AS is admitted for purposes of plea. Okay. Mr. Sledge, I'm showing you, and Your Honor, I'll show defense before I present it to him, what was admitted during that session as 1AS. If anyone wants to see it, if not, I'll go ahead and approach the witness. All right. Mr. Sledge, would you please take a look at 1AS and tell me if 1AS, which was admitted for the purposes of your plea, and the document we have been referring to. Yes, thank you. As States 444 Yankee, 
and I will now add back the first two sheets. Would you please look at those two documents and tell me if states 444 Yankee is an exact copy of states exhibit 1AS that you signed on December 28, 2022. Look at the whole thing, or just the yes, sir. Thing? Please look at the entire okay. thing. Yes, I remember this one. And is State's Exhibit 444 Yankee an exact duplicate of the document label State's Exhibit 1AS? Yes. Right. Thank you, Your Honor. One moment. 